Hey guys, how's it going today? It's Atsu. So today I'm going to have an online conversation lesson with an Aussie. So it's going to take about 25 minutes and I'm not going to put any subtitles or anything. But hopefully you can get some takeaways、uh, from this conversation and also enjoy it. So let's get started. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. My name's Bronwyn and I'll be your English teacher today. Yep. Can you see and hear me okay? Yep, I can hear you and I can see you. Perfect, perfect.、Um, all right, I see here that you would like to have a conversation with your lesson yep, today. Just, yep, just want to have a free conversation if that's okay. Yeah, sure, no problems at all.、Uh, all right, so to start. Things off. Would you like me to introduce myself? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. So, my name is Bronwyn. I'm、uh, 33 years old. I am originally from Australia, but I'm now living in Colombia. So, I'm in South America. Right. I, I left Australia last year, so almost exactly one year ago.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I quit my job in banking. And finance, which is my background. Okay.、Uh, my husband and I have gone traveling to find somewhere to invest in. So we're、wow. property investors. Wow. So I've traveled through Ecuador, Panama, Costa Rica.、Mm-hmm. The last year I've spent in those countries trying、yeah. to see which one to, to settle in.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm very lucky because I don't have to work and I have a lot of free time. Yeah.、Um, so I am pretty much always at beach towns. I love the mm-hmm, beach. Mm-hmm.、Uh, and I enjoy cooking as well. Yep. Great.、Mm. Obviously, you made a smart decision. Yeah. I, I got sick of the, I, the well, somewhat long hours working in, in banking finance、yeah. in Australia. I, I high feel cost of、mm-hmm. mm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but、uh, how about yourself? Is there something you can tell me about you? Yep, so、uh, just a quick background on myself. So, my name is Atsu, so just call me Atsu.、Um, I was born and raised in Japan, but I moved、yeah. to Australia about five years ago, so I'm currently living in Australia. You might be able to tell、oh. from my accent a little bit because I've <laughs> <laughs> been influenced by Australian accent pretty much.、Um, so, I moved here. Five years ago, I first、uh, moved to Canberra、uh, to get a master's degree in accounting at the NU. And then、mm-hmm. I moved to Melbourne, the city of Melbourne, about three and a half years ago to start my career as an external auditor.、Oh, okay. So I've been、mm-hmm. working for one of the big four accounting firms in the city for about like three and a half years now. And yeah, it's been a great opportunity for me because I can interact with like lots of different types of people and like every single moment I experience here is quite precious like as a person coming from a foreign country so I really appreciate that and well obviously I'm having that that same problem as、uh, what you were experiencing when you were work, working you know, in the financial sector which is long hours a lot of stress a lot of pressure but、um, yeah. yeah I'm still 28 years old and you know being for the first Been working for the firm only three and a half years, so I can still stomach it. But, like, long term, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna stick around here. But, yeah, just w a n n a become a manager first and see you know what the world would look like, and then after that, I probably rethink about you know what I actually w a n n a do. So, yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's about myself. And nice meeting you, and yeah, it's great to talk to you. Hmm. Yeah, I, the last place I worked in Australia was PwC. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. so I was in private clients、mm-hmm. um, in the Sydney office and then the、mm-hmm. Brisbane office when、right. I moved. Okay.、Um, so, so I totally understand the、yep. intensity of it and the hours and、yep. yeah, the low pay yeah. that the big four give you.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's yeah, the opportunities. That they do, and I've only just resigned because I took a 12 month leave of absence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I've only just resigned last week. Yeah.、Uh, but yeah, the, the, the big four, uh, I've only ever worked for PwC. Prior、mm-hmm. to that, I was um, um, UBS in investment banking. Yep.、Um, and ANZ, my grad program. But、mm-hmm. nice. um, 
the I think the one thing that it did, yeah, I think working in Australia, the what like I meet so traveling through these developing countries like yep. I have been, mm-hmm. everyone's like, Oh, you're so lucky, why would you leave Australia? Yeah. Uh, got it so good there and I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it is good, it is safe, you've mm-hmm. got good health care, there's yep. a good education system. Like I did my undergrad at Deakin and my postgrad at Oh right, Sydney. Deakin. Yeah, so I did my uh, arts and commerce at Deakin and yeah, my masters of accounting at um, UCID. Oh right, okay. <laughs> Which I never actually used. I graduated and then left, <laughs> so that was a waste of money. Um, <laughs> but, um, I think Good experience, the, though. The of, yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> the the cost of living I yeah. find in Australia and. They, most of like I'm 33, so most of my friends who are either working in the big four yep. or work banking mm-hmm. are still earning excellent wages, but they're still broke. Um, they've still got no spare cash. Um, yeah, you know, big four it doesn't pay you much. No. Yeah, they they sort of appreciate your hard work by giving you opportunities, but like. Well, obviously, at my firm, well, which is Deloitte, um, mm-hmm. opportunities often use uh, with negative connotation in some situations. Know what I mean? So, like, people often use the word um, opportunity, kind of trying to encourage people to work harder, and then people yeah. cannot say no to those opportunities. And we always say, "Ah, that's a great opportunity. We can grow ourselves by taking this opportunity and, like, you know, learning new things." But I, the flip side of it is like you are kind of being exploited as well and you are not getting paid for it, right? So you have to like putting extra effort and time and you say in front of your managers and partners, oh, this is a great opportunity, I'm growing myself. My sense of achievement is awesome. But like, you know, behind, yeah, behind the back, we are saying like just throwing shade all the time saying, oh, this is just... You know, waste on my life as well, and like we are not getting paid for it, and yeah, we cannot really easily, you know, connect those dots, like all those opportunities, and also what you can be in the future. So that's sort of a problem, and obviously, there is a really high turnover at a big four accounting firm. Like every single day, you see someone new at the office, you see, yeah. or, you, or you get the email to say someone's leaving. Yes, exactly uh, right. Thanks so so for their contribution to the firm. Yeah, it's yeah. one of those like email templates that go mm-hmm. out all the time. Yeah, today is my last day at this firm, so that's the type of email that I always receive. And yeah, it's yeah. it's gonna be a good memory when I leave my firm. But um, yeah, I feel a little bit stressful um every time I see those emails. But um, yeah, I understand people leaving because of like a lot of pressure and stress. But I still, yeah, still enjoy it. Um, mm. Yeah. Especially because it's an English speaking environment. So like the reason why I'm taking this like English conversation lesson is well I just wanted to, you know, commit myself to spending like extra thirty minutes or an hour to further improve on my English ability. Because the reason I came to Australia was I wanted to put myself in an English speaking environment. Because you know, being bilingual is definitely the edge. Uh, yeah, when you um, uh, when you want to perform well uh, in the world, but like being Japanese, like, I didn't have much exposure to English. So, well, every single second, like I said, uh, I can experience here is like much more precious than um, what everyone can get out of this like big four account firm experience. So I still appreciate that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think you would ever look at doing secondments back in? In Japan, Japan taking a job that no, filing. no, right. it's gonna be such a joke, cause mm. yeah, their their work hours is just crazy, cause like oh, normally yeah. yeah, even in yeah. industry like people work until like ten, eleven, and they they mm. always try to catch a last train. That if you could catch a last train, you're a lucky boy or a lucky girl, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, and obviously at a big four accounting firm, people work until like two a.m., three a.m. And, you know, your apartment gets closer and closer to the office because the number of hours that you have to spend every day gets longer and longer, if you know what I mean. 
And then you, at the end of the day, you end up staying at a hotel, take a shower, and come back. You know, put in some work, and then go back to the hotel, take a shower, take that, yeah, take like three hours sleep, and come back. And then that keeps going and going and going. And then probably at some point in time, you realize you wasted so much time of your life that you can't get back, right? Yeah. So, and mm-hmm. that's that's what I often hear in Japan. So that was that was also one reason why. I decided to, you know, make a move to Australia, and yeah. well, obviously, I expected it to be a bit more easygoing overall,、mm. but、um, but still relatively more relaxed compared to I think American environment or Japanese environment. So、um, yeah, it's good, but、um, yeah, I'm not、mm. thinking about you know getting seconded to a Japanese company. I'm more interested to、uh, move to a different country to experience something different. And also a different culture, but not Japan.、Mm. Mm. Do you have Australian citizenship? Yeah,、I've, so you can get the work holidays. Yes, yes.、Uh, I've got a permanent residence about three months、mm-hmm. ago. So, but you may or may not be aware,、um, permanent residence is valid only for five years, and you have to renew it. And if you don't stay more than three years in five years time, it gets revoked. So.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a.、Uh, it, it has some limitation attached to it. So like,、um, I'm thinking of getting a citizenship as well. Unfortunately,、mm-hmm. the Japanese government doesn't allow dual citizenship. So I would probably have to throw out my Japanese passport if I were to get a citizenship. But、um, still, I think the benefit that I can get from having a、uh, citizenship here in Australia is like quite significant. So I'm still、mm-hmm. thinking about a possibility of getting it.、Um, Yeah, so that's the current situation I'm in, and yeah, but、uh, as you know, the government is sort of against immigrants now. Yeah, and- I just woke up like because it's seven. It's almost eight o'clock in the morning here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I went to bed last night knowing, oh, I don't know who's going to be the prime minister when I wake up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. It's the and yeah the. Um, immigration Minister Peter Dutton, who's an absolute idiot,、uh, <laughs> um, yeah,、yep. doesn't do great things for.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's really cut back on on yep. immigration. Yep. Yeah, it's. I, I don't think it's a good thing. I、mm. think Australia has a low birth rate, low immigration rate. Yeah, they need they need to have a lot more skilled、mm. uh, immigration. Skilled immigrants, But, yeah. Definitely, definitely needed. I think、mm. the reason why I asked is that before the age of thirty、mm-hmm. or one, I think in Australia, if you are a if you have an Australian passport, I don't know about PR,、mm-hmm. but you can get working holiday visas and go work and travel in different countries. Like I、mm-hmm. got my working holiday visa and went to the UK, which、mm-hmm. you've probably met people that have done,、mm-hmm. um, and yeah, was able to work over there. Yeah, and Canada is really easy to、mm-hmm. get working visa for as well from、yep. for Australia. Yeah, Canada is definitely on my radar.、Mm. Mm. Yeah, I I love Canada.、Mm. Um, I lived there for a couple of years when I was a child. All、oh, right. My dad worked there. Okay. Um, and I just went back、mm-hmm. for three months there in June. Oh, okay.、Um, and I, the people are so friendly. Oh yeah.、Uh, like、mm-hmm. like genuinely friendly. Right.、Um, Much more friendly than Australians. You think? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. The、mm. mm. people will will go out of their way to like help you if you pick drop something or open a door or just like eye contact and will smile at you as you're walking down the street.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I. Um. Yeah, I think Canada is is a great is a great place. The only thing、mm-hmm. the downer for me、mm-hmm. with Canada,、mm-hmm. I don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah, that's why everyone says right. But Vancouver's not so bad. Yeah,、um, I'm. Vancouver climate's a little bit cooler,、mm. but it's still not. It's a beautiful city. Yeah, I'm used to the cold anyway because I'm originally from the northern part of Japan, where it snows like really heavily during the winter season, and it can go、mm-hmm. down to like negative ten degrees or so. So I think I can yeah bear the cold. And also I'm living in Melbourne now, so I'm still kind of you know developing my immunity against the cold. So、mm. yeah, should be able to survive there, but um yeah, yeah. Canada is definitely a great country、uh, from many perspectives. Like 
it has a lot of job opportunities and you know working as an accountant would be quite easy uh, the other day i saw a list of like occupations that allow you to have a uh, permanent residence and that kind of was definitely there and uh, it's been there like for so many so many years now and obviously I'm thinking about a career change like after accumulating some years of experience but most likely well I might have to start with accounting so that I can kind of settle in and then maybe after a couple of months I could pot potentially move to a different sector or industry so yeah having that chance to you know, leverage off of my accounting career experience is, yeah, definitely a plus for me. So, yeah, yeah. Canada could be my next country. Mm. Have you thought about, and I'm sure you have, but mm. what are your thoughts on, on going private, like working for, for outside of public practice and into a private company? So into a private company as a, like, financial manager, financial accountant, and that sort of role? Is that yeah. why you are? Yeah. So, well, to be honest with you, I'm not really interested to become a um, financial accountant or financial manager in industry. So first of all, financial accountant, I've seen like so many financial accountants doing mundane tasks like every single day. And it's not for me, for sure. Well, of mm -hmm. course, you know, at, at the sacrifice of it, well, they can maybe leave around like five or five thirty, but still... It is not for me. I want it to be fast paced and also I want a growth opportunity. So I don't think it's for me. And financial manager, well, if I were to actually dive into industry, I would like to play a bit more creative role, uh, if you know what I mean. And I actually have a side business, uh, which is English teaching business. So I don't really teach English myself, but, I, what, I, but what, what, I've, uh, what I've got so far is a YouTube channel first of all, mm -hmm. which has about like 100,000 subscribers. And um, yeah, so um, I'm kind of leveraging off of that so that I can, you know, turn it into a uh, more serious business so that I can have a positive uh, impact on the society on a larger scale in the future. And hopefully uh, I can establish my own company in Japan because if I, you know, make my own company, obviously I don't have to follow the Japanese working culture. And mm -hmm. also I can be more creative as well. And also I can probably, you know, grasp a chance to combine my financial knowledge uh, with that creativity side to kind of boast the, the foundation of the company. So, yeah, that's that's another thing that I'm still thinking. But like to answer mm. your question, not really interested to, you know, play a role as a financial accountant or manager in industry because it's it, it looks like quite boring to me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, from my I observation. Know, there's a lot, of, a lot of people that I saw that leave to go work private sectors and, and mm -hmm. the industry just, I think to start with, most people do it to chase the money. Yep. Because uh, there's an instant like 20, 30, 40K mm -hmm. increase. Yep. Um, yep. But yeah, yeah it's, you know, you, are you throwing away your soul to the devil because you're then just processing reports all day, <laughs> every day? <laughs> yeah, I think. But yeah. I think the English business idea is, is I think English... From someone, so I'm learning Spanish because I have to. Yeah. Um, where are the countries that I've been in? Mm -hmm. And I have found there are so many, even ads on television that I see here, yeah. are plugging so many different English um, courses, right? Like English Live is the popular one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I think English as a language or mm -hmm. even... Mandarin, if you want to get ahead of the curve, teaching pe people um, Mandarin, yep. I think, is is going to be such a future um, proof business, essentially. Yeah, uh, exactly. There's always to be the need um, for people to learn. And Japan, similar to Vietnam, mm -hmm. there's countries where the native language is effectively mm -hmm. and I don't get any offense by this but useless once you leave your country yeah. because you're not gonna, you're not going to be able to use Japanese in business in Sydney or in London or anywhere else other than Japan yep. and so with Vietnam mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah I think yeah teaching English is definitely mm -hmm. um, massive growth and yeah and if you can make a passive income off by earning that business then yep. yeah right. and it's yeah, and it's pretty, as you know, you're paying for it. It's it's not cheap too, so it's got to be a fairly profitable, yep. profitable business. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, and um, everything is going to happen online, so I don't really have to have, you know, a fixed cost like property, plant, and equipment. So it's good. Mm, yeah, there's little yeah. risk there. It's just my free time, yeah, which is considered to be risk, I think, in this kind of business. So it's good. Um, I'm just wondering why you are yeah. like doing this English conversation lesson as a tutor, like being an investor, <laughs> like. And I'm pretty sure that like you have sufficient money to get by or make a living, but um, I'm wondering why you are like doing this. So, if you don't mind, like it would be great if you could share your thoughts on this. Yeah, good question. Mm -hmm. So, I first of all, obviously, like the, the the well, it depends what country you're in. There's a lot of teachers that live in like Thailand, Vietnam, and so forth, and will live off this wage, and yep. it can cover their rent, bills, and everything else. Mm -hmm. For me, the main reason I've done it is yep. to keep my mind active, because I, mm -hmm. as you can probably imagine, studying for so yep. long and then working in a high pressure mm -hmm. environment. Yeah. I after a few months, it got to December, and I was like, I'm going crazy. Mm -hmm. There's only so much of the news I can read. Yeah. Um, I need like intellectual stimulation, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's why important. I started doing this. Mm. So I don't do it all day, every day. Yep. Uh, I tend to binge. Mm -hmm. um, and it depends because I, I've got good internet now in Cartagena, where I am, in Colombia. Yep. But for the last month before that, mm -hmm. I was in regional Panama and I had yep. like four, four, I couldn't even hold a Skype conversation. Mm -hmm. So I didn't teach for months. So, yep. But for me, it's more the enjoy of having conversations with people. Right. Uh, and yeah, keeping my mind active when you're reading articles yeah, yeah. or explaining what mm -hmm. prepositions you mm -hmm. use, mm -hmm. um, I I enjoy that aspect of it, and the fact right. that I can sit with my MacBook anywhere essentially and do it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of I think there's a lot of teachers out there that do it like 40 hours a week permanently. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think if I was to do it 40 hours a week, I'd probably burn out and not enjoy it. I'd yeah. probably be, yeah. be a bit of an asshole to half yeah. the students because mm -hmm. you just don't, yeah, and you just become monotonous. Yeah, I understand. Okay, yeah. Thank, yeah, thank you for it. Yeah, thank you for letting me know um, the motivation behind it. Yeah, that's quite interesting. And I definitely agree that it's important to, you know, have your mind open to a, var a variety of things. And that's definitely uh, one of the reasons uh, I'm doing this like YouTube channel. I didn't want to get you know mired in audit, uh, and like I, I've seen so many people who are kind of stuck in audit, They're always thinking about like auditing procedures, uh, accounting and stuff, without really having other perspectives. And they look quite smart in audit, but like once, once he or she is like thrown out of audit, I think the person is like of little value, unfortunately because the person doesn't have any other perspectives anymore. So I didn't want to be like that. So that's uh, one of definitely uh, my reasons. Um, so yeah, I can definitely relate to that. Um, so I think we are kind of running out of time, but it would be appreciated if you could uh, share your thoughts on uh, my English, because this is an English lesson. And yeah. like I said, you know, I'm, I'm trying to improve. I, I think I've reached a certain level where I can have like a good level of communication with people, but mm -hmm. I still see sort of differences uh, between my English level and also native uh, English level. And I've been kind of trying to reconcile the differences, but I can't really easily identify, clearly identify, you know, what the gap is. So like even one piece of, piece of advice uh, would be mm -hmm. very uh, appreciate it. So, no, I think I think your your English is, is excellent. I can hear the Australian accent. Like when mm -hmm. you said winter, yeah. Like I from my husband this all the time. He says winter, yeah. And I was like, no, it's an er. So mm -hmm. I can hear the Australian accent, yeah. In in your voice, yeah. Um, I what what takes mm -hmm. the, from being fluent and proficient yep. to then that native that step. Mm -hmm. I think the main thing that it is is mm -hmm. just using idioms, yep, and and using slang sayings. Yeah. Um, there is a right and a wrong time to use slang. Obviously, yeah. you're sitting in a meeting with your partners. You don't want to say any of the slang. Yeah. But I Australia think the main is idioms. mainly idiom. Mm -hmm. Idiom. And yeah. then I would also, mm -hmm. if you 
And this might come in handy too for your YouTube yep. thing. Have a look. Uh, you've probably heard of the website, but mm -hmm. just um, have a look at like Merriam Webster. They have like yep. a word of the day, and it's just using really um, uncommon language and yep. vocabulary. Yep. Um, I find their word of the day really useful. Okay. I often use it and send it to my students in their notes. All right. Okay. Um, and I would make an effort to read mm -hmm. difficult mm -hmm. and read out loud to yourself difficult uh, articles. Mm -hmm. They get off that, say, mm -hmm. depending on what topics you're interested in. Yep. But go, go beyond the, the age and the Fairfax and news.com.au, head straight to say ABC News yep. or even like journal articles mm -hmm. or I don't know if you really want to read anything, but CNBC, yep. Financial Press. Mm -hmm. If you read that difficult, because Financial Press yep. is really analytical and it's mm -hmm. really literal. Yep. So they so if you're reading it, it can, even for me, sometimes I have to read them twice. <laughs> By reading that type of high level, it'll also yeah improve. You not only idioms to, to throw into your own language yeah, but um take you yeah to that to that final mm -hmm. native native okay. level. But by no means do I think you need any improvement at all. Mm -hmm. Um, if my Spanish got half as good as, it as your English, I'd be happy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> put it that way. Okay. Um, but yeah, I yeah. think your your English is already pretty good. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. It was uh, lovely to meet you. Um, I hope the Melbourne weather is not too bad for you. And I, um, yeah. I hope to speak to you again soon. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Right. I'll talk to you Bye. soon. Bye. All right, I finished. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll see you next time. Bye.